Hey everybody, today I'm gonna make for you some bone broth, okay? But here is the clincher, the best part about it. It's going in the Instant Pot, so that means it's gonna be really fast. Usually bone broth would take you hours on the stove and you've gotta stir and do this and do that. With the Instant Pot, you will have fresh, amazing bone broth in about an hour and a half. The first thing you need to know is I like to roast my bones. I'm using beef bones today. I like to roast them first. So I put them in the oven at 400 for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your timing. And let's get chopping. So I'm just gonna do kind of a rough chop of these carrots. I'm going to throw those into the pot. Then again, a little rough chop of the, the celery because I'm straining all mine out throw it in. My favorite part is the fact that you don't actually have to like dice or mince or anything. It's just like roughly chopping. Chop up your onion. You could do half, quarter, whatever. Throw it in the pot. Then a couple cloves of garlic. Sometimes I do a ginger to put like some ginger root in there to get a nice little bit of ginger inside of my bone broth. And that's kind of it. So I just throw those whole cloves in there, and there we go. So that part is all done. You've got all your veggies in. That's what I like to add into mine. Um, next, I'm gonna go get my bones that have been roasting, and we'll put those in there. These are the bones that I'm using. I'm using beef bones. I'm just gonna put those right in in the bottom. Here we go. It doesn't matter. You can put them to the side, up top. It really doesn't matter. Just kind of arrange things in there. And there's that. Now I'm going to add some water just to cover it. So you really wanna just make it so, I mean, I use my Instant Pot as a guide. I kind of just fill it to the max because I want more broth. And there we go. So now what we're gonna wanna do is add in some spices. So I add in a couple bay leaves. I put two bay leaves in. And you wanna add in some acid. So I add in apple cider vinegar just because it pulls collagen out of the bones. About a tablespoon. Again, just kind of pour it in to get more of that collagen out of the bones and into that broth. I like to add salt and pepper at the end when everything's done. If you have whole peppercorns, that would be good. I have some ground pepper here that I'll put in now. And then I'm gonna do the salt at the end after everything is cooked. You'll see beautiful, beautiful bone broth shortly. So all I do is press the soup and broth. It's on high, but you want to turn it up to um, about an hour and a half. I feel like that works pretty well for the beef bones because they're thicker. If you're doing chicken or turkey, you may want to do a little bit less. And that's it. You're done. It is set. Okay, so now our bone broth is all done from the Instant Pot. I'm gonna take out the carrots. Some people keep it in. Like I said, I don't, because my kids prefer it not to really have anything in it. So I just kind of strain out a lot of the stuff and the bones. Bone broth is great. It has protein. It's so good for you. Lots of collagen, really, really good for your skin, your hair, your nails, your bones. It just reminds me of like being sick, winter time, whatever it is. Now I'm just gonna add the salt. I like to add it at the end just to really give like spices the time to do their work on the inside. And then salt, because it's not as preferable to have, I prefer to just put it in at the end, like when you know kind of the taste. And that's it, there we go. So I am going to ladle this into, I like to drink my bone broth from a little ball jar. I don't know about anybody else, but that's what I like to do. And another thing I like to do to doctor mine up is I put in like a nice scoop of coconut milk in. So I throw that little coconut milk, coconut cream, whatever it is that you have in there. And then just start to do this. See, it gives it that nice little, little bit of extra thickness, a little bit of flavor, so good. I also like to put in a sprig of rosemary, so I just honestly just put it right in. 
add a little bit of extra here. Really fill that bad boy up. And you have got lunch, dinner, breakfast even if you want to. Fantastic meal. Thanks for watching everybody.